What's up everyone, Justin with GT Gap here and today I'm here to give you an overview of the just announced redesigned iMacs. So there are a lot of things new on these iMacs. First off, the iMac comes in at 5mm thick at its thinnest point. They now ship with either an i5 or an i7 quad core Ivy Bridge processor and they do also have an Nvidia graphics card now. You can also get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, 32 gigabytes. These are still available in the 21 and a half inch model coming in at a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Priced the same at 1299. This will get you a 2.7 gigahertz quad core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a GeForce GT 640M graphics card and a one terabyte hard drive. Like I said, this will be priced at $1,299. Meanwhile, the 27 inch will start at $1,799, featuring a 2.9 gigahertz quad core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM, a GeForce GTX 660M, and a one terabyte hard drive. The 21 and a half inch will be shipping in November, and the 27 inch will be shipping in December. Apple also offers a configuration called Fusion Drive which allows you to have 128 gigabytes of flash storage with a 1 terabyte or 3 terabyte HDD which apparently is fused into a single volume which gives you a faster read and write time and it works automatically so pretty much it is a data doubler. So that's pretty much just an overview of the iMac. There are many configurations I, I'm not going to go through in this video. So go ahead and check it out on Apple's website and see what configurations you can build this in. But I think now this iMac in terms of this update has made this an option for or a better option for a powerhouse computer. Um, hopefully we see a Mac Pro update later on this year or even next year. Um, see what they do with that. So I definitely think this iMac in terms of the power has really been boosted up and I wish I could get one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.